So these are some of the cool slots up in here. Well, this is all stoked. Look at arm. Oh, look at that. That's slot cool. canning up in there. Oh, dang it. Melissa and I are hiking through this slot canyon. And then we come up on this. Must have fallen right here. You can see it's pretty rubbly. Oh yeah, those are barely holding on. Dude, that is sh radical. I guess you, I guess you could talk. Whoa. Is it clear? Yeah. You don't see that very often. A snake has fallen into a spider web. And the what spider... What kind of snake is that? I don't know. The spider is going to eat the snake. Wow. First, it's going to poison it up. Back away, I think it's too a little bit too um, fuzzy, honey. Yeah. Cool. Now look at this. That's the exit right behind me. So we'll just climb up. <laughs> So we're about to go back through the cave once we just came, and it's very narrow, and I feel very dangerous because the dirt is extremely unstable, uh, but they're the mud caves in uh, Anzaburio Desert, and um, you can actually feel the breeze going through the tunnel. So it's much safer to go where you know is an exit than where you don't know. Just don't hold on to anything that you don't know exactly what it is. Can you go on the trail first? <laughs> To the right. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's why I'm here to help out. This is my little adventure wife. That's so unstable. Oh my god. I want to do the entire video. See, don't grab onto anything, okay? Yeah. I put my hands on the ground only. Uh, put on your light. You wouldn't even know that was a cave. So basically all the water filters in this big box canyon comes down through here, goes in through this area right here, and I'm standing on like a little bridge, and then there's a exit hole and all the water basically filters through there. And here we go. Pretty dusty too. This is about five, five foot one. I'm about six to six one in feet. So I've got to lay down and crawl. Oh, there's a big spider on here. Okay. Oh, there's my feet. So that was the tightest part of the cave. Yeah. Right there. Now I can 
Hold on, wait for me. Now I just stand up and belly through this. So much to handle my pants right now. Uh-huh. Any more. So it doesn't look as scary when you're coming through it the second time. But it is. So this caved in right here, and this is like a, a crystal rock. It's pretty cool, actually. More crystal. So this is not a ride at Disneyland. This is really uh, good stuff. And just like if you're scuba diving or anything like that, uh, you want to make sure that you're not afraid before you do something like this. Because fear and panic and all those things can seep in. make your husband mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It doesn't make me mad. It just makes me anxious because I don't want you to be anxious. So we're almost at the end. We can see the tunnel right now. I'm sorry, we've been in a tunnel. You can see one of the exit holes right here. And then... Man, I'm thirsty. Yeah. This is the Anza Borrego Desert. So you get a little parched. But, that is my adventure wife, Melissa Harlow. She's amazing. And I probably wouldn't I worked do, through my fears! I probably wouldn't do half this stuff without my partner here. And she's awesome. I'm gonna let her finish up with a little dialogue outside. Uh, there's our fun little Range Rover. And not a soul in sight. So you literally have to make it through because you can't climb down. Yeah, that would be a real the, mistake. <laughs> Once you go in, you can't come out. Unless, or you, <laughs> once you go in, you gotta come out. Right. You don't wanna be a lobster in a trap. <laughs> right on. And with that...